Hey, 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 this is BA, and welcome to WD Gan Tunnel Trilogy. This is part one of what's going to be a three part series. Uh, it's probably the most important series I could do, uh, and I knew that going into it, so I, I uh, treated it with a little bit of respect, if you know what I mean. Let's get started. This trilogy is dedicated to the true seeker, the wiser one who seeks out the truth. I began my romance with W.D. Gann's book, The Tunnel Through the Air, when I received my first copy on April 3rd, 1997. Since that time, in many, many hours of study, my understanding and respect of the book has dramatically increased. I hold out that this book is by far the best book ever written on financial markets. I would like to share with you in the following three-part presentation some valuable discoveries and pointers dealing with this book. It may not be as sexy as looking at market charts, but studying this book in great detail leads to understanding and knowledge, which then leads to security. Let's begin. So yesterday I took a look at an email someone had gave me, and it had the number five on it. Sitting back and thinking, what could this mean? Is what so many do. And in my beginning years with the tunnel book, I did the same thing. What could five mean? Number one, I have five fingers on my hand. Number two, the fifth planet is Jupiter. Three, I could go research the heck out of page five. Four, divide price always by five. Five, five in fact could be ins insignificant in Gan tricking me. Six, Gan pointing me to the fifth of the month, five days. Seven, Gan needed filler for the book. Yeah, that's it. Eight, Gan always traded in fives. That was his secret. Nine, fifth wave of Elliot's what he's talking about. That's what it is. Ten, five moons is five months. How would we know if any of this was correct? Working to prove one or many of these could quickly lead to frustration. Now, if that is the case, what the frustration is telling you is that you are on the wrong path. All the above were guesses, so heading down this path, path of guessing can quickly lead to frustration, and it so often does. Instead, there's an alternative path. In Tunnel, think, how can I connect this to another part of the book? How is this connected to another part of the book? See, the Tunnel Through the Air is written in layers like an onion, but it's put together like a puzzle, okay? So Gan wants you to uh, assemble the puzzle. Here's our number five in a different way. On page 360, it states, she reminded him that five years ago, he arrived in New York just after his birthday. Then of the birthday parties. Then, okay. Clearly is connecting this to birthdays, which was not on our list of 10 that we did above. So the point is, instead of trying to imagine what Gans mean, look at what he connects to it. Look at how it connects. It's a very valuable principle. Rule. Keywords are used in this book. They are important, and there are many of them. Some keywords are teletalk, love, sunshine, etc. Get a notebook and make a separate page or two for each keyword. Write down everything that is said about the keyword along with the page numbers it's mentioned. And we'll get into why that's important in a minute. Rule. There is a code hidden in the text, and there's also coding used in the page numbers. An example of this would be page 224, which is uh, the heliocentric revolution of, of Venus in days, where Robert's, Robert's first airplane was completed. This is no coincidence. Be very, very aware of page numbers. Rule. Watch and note carefully any emphasis Gan puts on the words, often to clue the reader in. In tunnel, Gan will repeat something. Not exactly, but close in order to emphasize its importance and help you focus in. In our previous slide, we saw the keyword birthday. So we would want to next do a study on that keyword. Some pages of importance is page 157 and again on page 160 where he states his 21st birthday meant a great deal to him. Okay, Meant more than any other birthday because he hoped it would bring Marie. Well, now most people that read this casually are going to go, well, that's nice. It just went good. Have a good birthday party. You know, some clowns and some balloons and such. No. Okay. And this is not filler for the book. This means something. What happened on Robert Gordon's 21st birthday? Okay. And where does that tie in with other places of the book? 
page 161. He goes on to actually subtitle a chapter on it. Robert Gordon's 21st birthday. He's screaming it at you. That means something very important ties into this. Page 171, 172 of Tunnel. And his only faith was in astrology and the science laid down in the Bible. With the science of astrology, he could tell when success would start, when trouble would end, etc. He was a great believer in astrology because he had found the great science referred to so many times in the Holy Bible. My understanding here is that Gann was using something a little different than what an astrologer of today would use when it comes to markets. My understanding is that it is more a fusion of astrology and astronomy that I call astrolonomy. You see, I don't believe he was using, oh, Venus and Jupiter's love. And the market's going to fall in love. I don't believe that at all. I believe he used mathematics with all this, and it works in a certain unique way. Page 184, the Bible prophets foretold it, and my studies of the cycle theory also indicate that we are in a period where cycles will repeat, which have caused war in the past. This gives great insight in again. Not only does he again state cycles, he talks about them repeating. Okay, that's very, very important. Page 195 starts the cotton campaign, but notice he calls it the great cotton campaign. He just doesn't call it, you know, the, the cotton rubbish. He calls it the great cotton campaign. That word great is in there because it is extremely important. And in my opinion, the most important of all the tunnel trading. Recall how I told you about the word emphasis, like huge, gigantic, that those are descriptive markers within the book. Well, here it is. Great. He's trying to emphasize. Okay, so meaning translated, dear reader, there's something here very important for you. One really needs to take the cotton info and see what it connects to. Let Gan lead you. Tunnel is a book of connections. The fact that it is the great cotton campaign is Gan's way of showing emphasis on the cotton campaign itself. When he uses words such as great, gigantic, huge, he is emphasizing, you see. Robert Gordon's brother calls him Cottonhead. He doesn't call him wheat ears or IBM brains. Also on page 91, generally a number considered divine and part of another number, Mr. Kenilworth shows his faith in Robert by buying cotton. You see what I'm saying here? It's all, yeah, I'm, yeah, this is how you put it together, okay? I mean, most casual readers, da, 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 da. let me answer these five emails and I'll read a couple pages of tunnel. No. You have to sit down and focus. Gan wrote this for people that could actually focus and use the brain cells inside their heads. Okay. Page 200, at the bottom, mentions Livermore. This is Jesse Livermore, whom Gann's office was close to. And at one time, Gann pooled money to get Livermore back to the markets. Several important characters are mentioned like this. Okay. Page 205, I believe that he possessed some mathematical method which enabled him to forecast stocks many months and years in advance. Okay. He is keying us into mathematic to into a mathematical method, i.e. the numbers method. On page two thirteen of Tunnel it states, Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Then he states, Robert believed that he understood the cycle. Now let's stop here. He is pretty much directly telling us that this is a cycle. The quote says that the cycle length is 1335 days. This is a pretty clear area. I mean, he stopped short of saying, dear reader, investigate the cycle I am pointing out here. Okay. Page 224. Venus heliocentric revolution period in Earth days. The plane had four wings and could fly on either one of its four sides. This is very important passage for one. Ezekiel, the cyclist, keeps talking about these wings. Could fly on either one of its four sides mean 
that to me is the seasons you see meaning that these cycles since they could fly on either one of their four sides would work independent of seasons more from page 224 he had constructed a wheel within a wheel which is a cycle so that he could lower his plane and land anywhere he chose and could rise straight up he could drive his plane forwards or backwards in the spreadsheets that i do uh to work these cycles okay you have to work up and down as well as across and that's very important because you see the cross is history repeating from the past and the up and down is it goes high low high low high low all the way down which i put in my other videos page 226 in may 1928 walter received a radiogram for robert saying that he was leaving japan in the latter part of the month and was going to sail the saint marie back to new york this is a classic gan hiding the exact date it's a tip off that this date is important uh, uh latter part of the month okay latter part of the month well we need the exact date because something's hidden here okay because see uh well, i'll get to that okay important but the next question is why is what needs to be carefully addressed okay let's look at this okay he's going back to new york huh well what is uh what is the date here because without the date we can't check to see what he's really getting at he's going back to new york you see back to new york all right so i hope everyone gets that um because there could be you know this could be you know just off the top of my head this could be a cycle you know, there could be something here because he's going back to something. He's returning. This concludes part one. Look for parts two and three. If you have gained insight from my video, subscribe so you can get the latest on my free market calls, forecast, commentary, and teachings. Hey, this is BA reminding you, you can succeed. Take care. Bye-bye.